Okay, so today we're looking at a brand new product, Comlight Speed Booster, and some of its benefits, uh, who it's intended for, and we'll do a little unboxing and demonstration to show you guys what the difference between a Comlight adapter and a Comlight Speed Booster is for Canon EOS M series cameras. This includes M50, M100, and all the M series cameras. Let's get into it. Okay, so here's the unboxing of Comlight Speed Booster for Canon EOS M system. comes with a little warranty card, a little booklet, and then the speed booster right here. This is what it looks like. Has caps on both sides. This does have a glass element. This is not an adapter. It's an actual speed booster. Has lens inside it. So it's it's uh, looks like metal even though it's black if you can see it this is metal not plastic First things first, I want you to notice the size of this frame. Currently, we're using Comlight adapter only. This is not the speed booster. I'm using a 50 millimeter lens. ISO is set at 200. Aperture or f-stop is 1.8. 50 millimeter lens that's on it is wide open. 1.8 is the lowest f-stop number, which is which means the widest aperture. So let's remember this image remember the framing remember how much of the uh, bookshelf you can see in the background and how much of the wall you can see in the background and now let's switch to the speed booster the camera is at the same distance and you can clearly see how much more of an image you can uh, see the frame is much bigger and um, you still have bokeh even with the bigger frame i haven't moved the camera and it's using the same exact lens uh, another slight side benefit of this type of an adapter uh, with the lens element in it is you get to reduce your iso i haven't changed the iso and i see minimal benefit i would say i you as you can compare the the other image wasn't all that much brighter iso is currently set at 200. so in practical use what is uh this type of adapter with the lens element for who who would benefit from it i mean you can always move back and capture an image but if you're filming yourself at home for example like I am and uh, trying to um, capture a big enough area with a prime lens such as uh, the 50 millimeter I have because you don't have a full frame camera you would need such an adapter because 50 millimeter acts like an 80 millimeter on a crop sensor camera it's trying to focus an image on a crop size sensor so it's only getting the center of the image and that is why uh, you would need such an adapter to refocus the image on a smaller area so you still get the benefits of a prime lens but you're focusing it uh, tightly on a smaller sensor thereby capturing more of the image I hope the information I provided in this video uh, was useful to you. 
If you like the content, please like and subscribe. I will be making more videos of similar nature. And uh, my goal is to provide some guidance, tips and tricks for new content creators. Uh, there are a lot of videos from very, very professional people, but not from a beginner's point of view. So if you like the product, I will leave the link in the description. If you have uh, any questions, please leave a comment. Also, uh, please like and subscribe. I will be making more videos on different YouTube related topics and equipment. So let's keep this thing going and uh, let me know what you guys think. Take care. Bye.